Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Metters, this is Alex at Hughes Honda, and I'm here with the 2019 Honda Accord Touring 2.0. Um, and this is actually the exact one that we looked at. Um, so this one will have the black interior, and like I say, we can get the beige, no problem. Um, but let's just do a walk around, like I said that we would do. And um, this way, if you ever wanted to go back and kind of review things that we talked about when you were here, uh, you can. Um, and so let's just start with the key fob. And I'll talk a little more quickly than uh, when you were here, just to kind of um, summarize things in less time. So um, starting with the key here, um, this is a smart key, so you'll have um, keyless entry within 32 inches of the door handle, right? And then the remote start is right there um, and that's good within 60 yards that'll set your interior temperature to 72 degrees um, now these keys are numbered so when you walk into the accord everything will set to your liking this is driver one you'll have a driver two so everything will correspond to the uh, individual driver depending on the key you carry um, now starting up front here so you're gonna have full LED headlights turn indicators and daytime running lights LED fog lights as well and LED lights on the rear um, so just in short, those LED headlights also have LED high beams um, that do automatic high beams. So um, if there's a car coming close to you with your high beams on, it'll cut them on and off accordingly so you don't um, you know, blind anyone while you're driving. Um, I've been guilty of that. Um, parking sensors are up front there. There's one sensor of many somewhere on the rear. Um, also, let's just talk about the Honda Sensing Suite for a second. So uh, again, this radar here that says Sensing on it there we go um, that's going to be tracking pedestrians drivers ahead if it needs to stop you it will also it can auto follow drivers ahead of you using something called adaptive cruise control um, so that tracks cars in front of you while you're cruising um, up to a speed that you set so if someone ahead of you is going a little bit slower it'll slow you down until that individual gets out of your way then it'll pick you back up to speed so that can be nice I know you say maybe you don't use cruise control but uh, but that, that's kind of a nice way to get started with that also the camera in the windshield plays into the Honda sensing suite this is the second part of it so that camera it's right here um, is watching the road lines if it needs to pull you back into the lane it will also as a driver assist feature you can use lane keep assist that will help you steer the wheel um, and then right here you can kind of notice um, that's the sensor for the rain sensing wiper blade so all that is there um, coming around these are the touring specific wheels um, so that kind of signifies what you have you know because this is the only accord with those wheels so uh, to every other driver out there um, they'll really know that you have something really special um, and that's wrapped in Michelin tire so um, those are quite quiet and safe and those come with warranties just like the rest of the car um, since I brought that up just to let you know again um, you will have a three-year 36,000 mile non-powertrain warranty and also a 60,000 um, five-year warranty covering the powertrain components from the manufacturer but Hughes Honda gives you the lifetime powertrain warranty um, that it's no cost to you and you can go to any licensed business to get your service done and that will not void your warranty so it's completely portable and fully written. Um, coming along the sides here, turn indicators on the mirrors, very nice. Um, you're going to have a blind spot information system so if you have a driver in your blind spot that you cannot see, it happens to everyone, that will uh, illuminate and so you'll know uh, on either side when you have someone um, that might be in the danger zone when you're turning. Um, so coming along to the rear here, keep in mind you have this chrome stripping along the edges there, so it runs all the way down the side of the car. That is also touring specific. Um, now, parking sensors in the rear there, you have some here. Now these are your stainless steel dual exhaust finishers. High definition backup camera is mounted there. Okay, so coming into the trunk, we'll open this up. Very large, like Mr. Metters mentioned. Um, now. These are your mats that Honda gives you at no charge. This is a bracket for your front tag if you ever wanted to put one of those on there. Spare tire is underneath here. That spare is good for 3,000 miles and up to 70 miles per hour. So if you go out of town, that's a great way to get back. Um, and that's a 60-40 split for the second row. So if you never needed to um, fold those seats down, you can just collapse them. Um, and it is very easy to do that. You just pull these tabs here or here and they will collapse. Um, so I'll close this down. Keep in mind too, if you're at Kroger, maybe you drop your key in the trunk there, you close this, it'll pop the trunk back open on you. So that's just kind of a cool thing. Um, and you cannot lock the key inside of the cabin either. You never saw this when you were here, but this is a capless fuel filler. So if you're pumping gas, you just, you know, um, put the nozzle right in. Notice nowhere on here does it say that you need premium gas just to kind of uh, verify that for you. So uh, just takes regular. Now in the second row here, perforated leather seats very pretty there we go um, so you'll have ventilation back here couples are cup holders on the doors uh, rear deck lid speakers let's get that into focus boom okay and notice that this will have the tweeters back there so you'll have the full range audio system this will have a subwoofer as well um, heated rear outboard seats power windows of course and these seats are kind of contoured on the back so you know your husband is six foot if you ever had to sit back there he'll be very comfortable um, 
along the side here. Your seat is moving back to your position you set it in when you were here, so all you do is press one to get there, but it's there now. Um, you know, and this is a 10-way power seat. You can change your seat back angle, uh, four-way lumbar, you know, and you can adjust the support of that. It can be very nice for you. Uh, memory seats are here, power windows, power locks, power mirrors, all there. And let's go ahead and get started now on the interior. So what you would do to get started is put your foot on the brake pedal, hit the start stop button once it illuminates. So I'll put my foot on the brake pedal. There we go, it illuminates, we'll press it. And that'll fire everything up. So uh, this is where the fun starts to happen. Um, now, again, you have your heads up display. So the controls for that are just to the left of the steering wheel. Um, below that, you're gonna have your collision mitigation um, buttons to turn that stuff on and off. So if you ever wanted to turn off your collision mitigation system, that's the best way to do that. That's a quick kind of access to that. Um, now you'll have your driver assist options over here so this is collision mitigation this is driver assist um, on the left side of the steering wheel you have your phone and audio controls this home button will control that pod right there so keep that in mind so if i press this we can use this scroll bar to go through all those different menus we discussed earlier so very cool um, if i exit out of that all i can do is just you know press one of those and now we're you know back to where we had it when we were test driving um, now up here you're going to have automatic lights fog lights wipers the further you go down the higher the intermittency so just to show you that um, now i don't know if you can see it or not let's see if we can zoom in okay so there's our heads up display that's actually really cool um, so if i go back to navigation i really wanted you to see this while you're here uh kit so let me go here and just hit categories we'll go to a place pretty quick by or close by and uh here let's see if i can pull up something on this heads up display so we're going to go to george bob's this time instead of logan's um, so let's go ahead and pull that up. Drive to highlighted route. So check this out. Aha. Uh -huh. So here, I'll actually see if I can do it. So coming closer to this exit here, let's see what happens. Let's see if this thing will count down here for me. 200 feet, 100 feet. There we go. Ah, that's so cool. So then it would, you know, tell us to make a left turn there. So you know, just to, just to show you how that works, I'm going to shift. <laughs> into reverse here and when i shift into reverse i'll go into the backup camera here again you have six four three feet so let me start backing up now the cross traffic monitoring system is on so if somebody was flying through that parking lot it would catch them and let me know but no one is luckily um so i'm just going to turn it here and i'm going to make sure the guy the dynamic guidelines turn on for you too so let's just keep on backing up here and this is a little tricky but i think i can hold the camera and go into reverse and not drive through hughes honda at the same time let's see if i can cool um, and that was all me using the backup camera, <laughs> um, so you can do it too. Now that's six, four, three feet right there. This is the wide view, so you can see really far out on the left and right side. The normal view is more directly backwards, and then this is a straight down view looking down to the back bumper. So um, I'm really risking it here, but hey, we're coming pretty close. I feel about comfortable stopping there. Um, don't want to have to pay for a new window. So, but that's how you can use that to you know come close to things. So uh, very cool. Now down here you have your Econ, keep in mind that'll give you five miles per gallon better than the averages already on the car. Um, that monitors your engine transmission and AC compressor to do that. So that's a great way to save fuel. I recommend doing that everywhere you go. Um, sport mode again is quite the opposite of that. That's gonna tighten everything up. So, um, you know, to get your BMW feel back in the wheel, just press that, everything will turn red. So very cool, opposite Econ mode. So just so you can see that and the differences there. Um, you know, we could talk about this transmission here for a while, but the biggest takeaway from it is you just press to go where you want to go. Um, and it is a lot smoother than your conventional, you know, transmission. Um, you have extra gears. To set the parking brake, you pull this up to set it. The indicator turns on here and there, just in case uh, that ever gets you. So just, you know, press it down to turn it off. And then uh, we know about brake hold. You roll to a stop, take your foot off of the brake. The Accord does not roll until you hit the accelerator again. So um, that's kind of a nice way to relax while you're stopped. Um, so, you know, inside of here, wireless phone charger, right? Uh, you have not one, um, but two ports for your Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, although I think you're gonna be using the Apple CarPlay. Um, 12 volt power outlet there and then also here. So that's just a dust cover. Also, you can always close this down. You know, maybe you have your phone here. There's some messages going off while you're wirelessly charging. Maybe it's nighttime. Uh, this little shield here will protect the light from kind of blaring at you if you don't want that. So um, good way to do that. Now, uh, dual climate zones here, you know, fan speed, cooled seats, heated seats. 
so very cool near field communication you know just sync up hold it there that does all the work for you auto dimming mirror here integrated garage door buttons just beneath that that's the auto dimming button to turn that on and off uh, i'd recommend keeping it on uh, we found out about the assist button today that was fun um, also this is for the concierge service one touch power sunroof is right there so if you ever wanted to use that very easy to do so push it forward to close it sunglass holder here um, and you know that that's that's a pretty decent overview, I think, uh, just about as fast as I could do it. I know it's a lot to take in, so I didn't want to bore you with a super long video. Uh, it, it may have even been too fast, but um, just to show you that, and if you have a question, um, just please let me know, but I just, I really wanted to, to share that with you, and, um, you know, if you ever need me, um, again, it's Alex at Hughes Honda, so um, just let me know. I'm here every day except for Sunday. We are closed Sunday, so um, thank you so much for watching my video kit. Uh, I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Thanks. Bye-bye.